Let's read some books. Bravery Soup by Marianne Coca Leffler. Out in the Woods. Carlin was afraid of everything. He was afraid of bumps in the night, Boom. of trying new things, of being alone. He was afraid of his own shadow. You need a bit of bravery, said his friend Zack, and I know where you can get it. Early the next morning, Zack led Carlin to the edge of the woods. There they saw Big Bear, the bravest animal in all the land. He was standing by the fire, stirring a big pot of soup. So you want some bravery, do you? asked Big Bear. Y yes stammered Carlin. Well, I'm mixing up a batch of bravery soup right here. But I'm missing an important ingredient. Will you get it for me? asked Big Bear. Will it make me brave? asked Carlin. Most certainly, said Big Bear. But your journey will not be easy. You must go alone through the forbidden forest to Skulk Mountain. On the mountain top, you will see a cave. In the cave, you will find a box. Bring that box to me. Carlin gasped. Alone? The forest? The cave? His knees were shaking. You are braver than you think, said Big Bear. When the animals heard that Carlin was venturing into the forbidden forest alone, they gathered around him. Here is armor to protect you from the wild beasts. Here is a basket full of food. The forest is full of poisonous plants. Here is a raft to cross the raging river. Here is a big stick to fight the fierce monster that lives in the cave. Wild beasts, poison, raging river, fierce monster. Carlin's whole body shuddered. Then he remembered Big Bear's words, You are braver than you think. Now or never, Carlin thought. Slowly he walked into the thick forest. His friends waited for a while, growing more and more worried. It is much too dangerous for little Carlin, they said. They decided to search for him. As Carlin's friends entered the forest, they came across the armor. Oh, he's hurt! They found the basket of food untouched. Oh my, he's starving! Then they spotted the raft floating at the river's edge. Oh no, the river has swept him away. But Carlin was not hurt. He had soon realized that he could not walk fast wearing the heavy armor. I can flee the beast more quickly without it, he thought. So he took the armor off. Carlin was not starving. As he walked along, he noticed animals and birds feasting on fruits in the forbidden forest. He saw some strawberries. I can eat these, he thought. So he dropped his heavy basket and ate the delicious fruit. Carlin had not been swept away. When he came to the raging river, he found that a tree lay over the water. He tossed the raft aside. Carefully, he began to make his way across. He took one tiny step and then another, until finally he reached the other side. I did it, he cheered. Carlin looked up. There before him was Skulk Mountain. Carlin drudged on. The mountain was covered with thick bushes and vines. He broke his stick, cutting a path. Then he spotted giant footprints. Carlin had discovered the monster's cave. 
Trembling, he entered. Minutes later, his friends found the broken stick by the mouth of the cave. Oh no, he has been eaten by the monster. But Carlin had not been eaten by the monster. He peered into the cave and squinted his eyes. There on the ground was the box. Just then something moved from the shadows. The monster! Terrified, Carlin hid behind a pile of rocks. Suddenly one of the rocks tumbled over. The sound made the monster jump and howl. <gasps> Who is it? he whimpered. What do you want? Carlin had cast a long spooky shadow. Could this scary monster be afraid of me? he thought. My name, My name is, is Carlin, Carlin said in his deepest, loudest voice. I came, I came for the, for box. the box. This box? The monster tossed the box toward Carlin. Take it, he said. Just please don't hurt me. Carlin grabbed the box and ran from the cave, bumping right into his friends. Run! The monster! They all raced down the mountain, over the river, through the forest, and back to the edge of the woods. At last, the tired animals gathered around Big Bear's fire. Carlin carried the precious box. Now it is time, said Big Bear. Open the box. Carlin pried off the lid. The box was empty. Carlin was sad. I'm sorry, Big Bear. I didn't get the secret ingredient for the bravery. But you did, said Big Bear with a smile. The box was always empty. Do you mean my journey was for nothing? asked Carl in surprise. Your journey was not for nothing, said Big Bear. You faced the forest and you faced your fear. It is not what is inside the box that makes bravery. It is what is inside of you. So what about the bravery soup? asked Carlin. It's called bravery soup because I only serve it to the bravest, said Big Bear. I am brave, said Carlin, and he held up his bowl. Stay tuned for a vignette of Tree's Adventure Making New Friends after the credits. Tree's Adventure Making New Friends by Kristen Montgomery Small Corinne and Pamela were new friends. They talked about the time they met when traveling. Tree was listening. I have been standing here forever. I want to make new friends. Tree pulled his roots right out of the ground. Here are some boots and just my size. Tree stood up tall, looked all around, and saw a sign with an arrow that read, New friends this way. Tree decided to bring along a first aid satchel. It is smart to travel prepared, he thought. Tree went down the dirt path and shortly came upon a barn. I'm Tree. I am traveling to make new friends. The barn animals looked at Tree and stared. They had never seen a walking tree. continued talking down the path before. and waved excitedly when he saw two new friends. Toppled over I am and here. Tree tumbled out. Al was the first to see that Tree had broken his arm on his way to make new friends. A visitor named Horse who had been eating grass and later nearby and later and darker and darker 
and soon it would be night time. Horse wanted to help Tree find a resting place. They ran and they ran and they ran until they could run no more. They Bear was out in the breath. grass together and fell fast asleep under the stars and full moon. When they woke up, you can purchase this book, Tree's Adventure Making New Friends, by Kristen Montgomery Small at Amazon or Create Space. Thanks, friends. Subscribe, thumbs up, support your local readers. Well, look and see what's up next.